Hi, I'm Dave Booch, Vice President of Sales with Caliber Equipment. What I'd like to do today is just take a couple minutes and go through the maintenance features of this machine. This is the Advanced SC6000. Uh, you may have seen one of our earlier videos that kind of walked you through the machine, talked about the features, benefits, and how it operates. But what I'd like to do now is kind of take you through the proper operator maintenance. This could be the same with most any scrubber, but I'm going to go through it on this, the SC6000, just to point out some of the basic day-to-day -day maintenance that your people that operate the machine need to do. That is the number one most important part of a scrubber is the day-to-day -day maintenance. We do recommend that you get on some type of a scheduled maintenance program with your uh, servicing company and have a, a, a certified technician go through it on a, a PM basis. But at the end of the day, it's how the operators run the machines and take care of them that absolutely makes a big difference in how well a machine performs and hopefully reduce breakdowns and costly repairs. So let me kind of take you through a few things here now. First thing I want to show you is the battery compartment. On the 6000, the seat simply lifts up, gives you access to the batteries. This is a 36 volt system, so it takes six batteries. This is the engine for the scrubber, and it is critically important that we take care of these batteries. This particular pack is a maintenance free AGM battery, so there's no watering. The model you may have may be a flooded wet acid where you have caps that have to be checked and topped off periodically, but it is highly recommended that once a week before it's operated that someone goes through and checks the batteries. Number one, if we need to add a little bit of distilled water to the batteries to keep them topped off, that's most important. Number two, if they're sealed like this, which is great, but we still want to make sure the cables are nice and tight on every single battery. If these nuts come loose and this is a little loose, it'll overheat and you'll end up damaging the battery. So a quick check once a week to make sure your cables are all tight and if they're flooded we're going to put some water in them after it's charged. Secondly, obviously on this particular model you fill it up on the other side because you've got a clean tank and the back is your dirty tank. When you're done scrubbing, the biggest problem we see with uh, folks is they don't clean out the solution tanks or recovery tanks. So they get filled with nasty grease, dirt, and stuff. We need to make sure these are rinsed out. What Advance has done, it's a big opening so you can see down inside. You have a simple, large, oversized drain hose that comes off. We take the cap lower it down to the floor, and now gravity takes it out. But we want to get inside of here and flush this out to make sure there's no grease oil sediment in the tank. That is super important to be done at the end of every shift when you're done operating the machine. And then that just tucks back nice and neat. Your squeegee on the back of every scrubber, this is what dries the floor. So it's a good idea periodically to take it off of the machine because I want to rinse up underneath here. Over time, grit and stuff gets underneath the rubber, which will affect its performance and how well it picks up. By loosening up these two nuts, this will come off of the machine very simply. And then I can flip it over, rinse it out. This design, you've got your rubber, and as this wears, by simply opening that latch, taking the band off, I can take the rubber and I can flip it over because I have one, two, three, four edges. So that's how you get the most life out of your rubber is by flipping it as the edges get worn, I can just flip it over and go to another edge, two on the bottom and two on the top. Now if it gets torn, well then you've got to flip it over. But that's how you can get the life out of a squeegee tool by keeping it washed off and then rotating the blades to get the best drying floor. Now there are simple adjustments here to make sure it sits flush on the floor and if you review your owner's manual it will give you instructions of how to do that. But as I said, this is the important part of any auto scrubber. Drying the floor, the vacuum picks up the dirty water which through this hose up into the tank which also can be easily removed in case there's a blockage. 
and then simply put back in. Nice and flush, nothing hanging out. This particular model has a back wand package. This is an option, and you could have this to do remote cleaning to get up underneath racking in that. So it may be an option that you're interested in. It just simply hooks into your vacuum hose, and now I can pick up water and debris that's underneath equipment and racking. But taking care of the squeegee, rotating the blades, that's how you get a dry floor. A couple other options this particular model has that let me show you besides the vac wand package is it's got a wash down hose. Great option to have for two reasons. One, I can use this to pre-spray the floor if I have a real greasy area and I want to wet it down first before I scrub. But just as important is rinsing the tank. Maybe where you're draining the dirty water you don't have access to water. How are you going to rinse the tank easily? This is how. You pull this out, rinse out the tank, you've got an automatic pump, and then when you're done, you can now drain it out. So I can rinse out the tank, I can use it to rinse out the tray, I can use it to rinse out the brushes that we looked at earlier. A great option to take advantage of. Again, just to help the operators do a better job maintaining the machine. Two other features on this particular model. Number one, you can get it with additional bumper on the front to protect it even though this is heavy steel here, here. So that's an option, a front crash bar. And look at those LED lights, folks. So if your warehouse or your facility is not that bright with that option, you can really light it up off, on, so the operators can see it well. When we move over to this side of the machine is the scrub deck. Now on the 6000 they designed this with heavy steel doors to protect the deck. That's one of the things on many machines, the deck, the scrub deck, this is what's doing all the cleaning. This can get hit or knocked and then you could have damage. So what Advanced did is they built it with big heavy steel doors around it. This particular version is a cylindrical scrubber sweeper. So it's got a little edging broom to help clean the debris along the walls, move it under the machine. And then there's one, two brushes that are spinning to scrub and pick up the debris. And then what they've done is a simple latch lets this swing all the way open. And now you have a debris tray. So any small debris that's on your floor nuts, bolts, pallet chips, small things, as it's scrubbing, it's going to go inside of this catch tray. So each time you dump the dirty water, we need to remember to take this out, rinse it out, and then it simply goes back in. The last thing I want to show you, on the scrub deck, this is a cylindrical machine, so there's two rotating brushes, one here and one here. What Advance did to simplify the design make it easier for the operators to maintain it is by simply lowering this latch. This comes out and there's your brush. Simply comes out and now I can inspect it and make sure there's nothing wrapped around it. Also this is what it's going to look like. Over time any debris is going to start building up on here so I want to keep this clean. So this spins freely. That's part of the routine maintenance, but as you can see, it came out very easy. I can wash that off, inspect the brush, make sure nothing is wrapped around it, and then rotate it. Because we want to keep them rotated so that the bristles don't start bending over, because then they're not going to clean and last as long. But if we flip it over, because the front one spins different to the back one. The back brush comes out the other side exactly the same. And while you have the brush out, take your hose and rinse this out in here because this is going to get a buildup over time of grit and grease and stuff so I can easily flush that out, clean off the squeegee, and then when I'm done, this slides in, a little push, it locks in place, I take the cover, line up these couple of notches with the slots on the brush, and put it in, put the latch back down, I'm done. 
and then simply close the door. So as you can see, it's a very easy, quick process that your operators can easily do, but it is real important that we're doing that regularly to keep everything flowing and moving correctly so you don't have a breakdown. And then you have the large door. That's how we protect the deck from getting hit. So as you can see, the basic maintenance on an auto scrubber, number one, checking the batteries. Number two, making sure the dirty tank is cleaned. Number three, taking care of the squeegee tool, cleaning that, rotate the rubber as needed. Last but not least is the scrub deck. Take the brushes out, clean that scrub deck, flip over the brush, put it back together. Once we do that, the machine is going to operate so much better, less chance of breakdown. And these are all simple things that Advance has built into the design of the machine so it's easy for the operators to do it. So hopefully that helps uh, give you a little more insight to the SC6000. Any questions, give us a call. Caliber Equipment, 888-550-0945. And thanks for watching.